the IAEA announced a significant rise in nuclear energy projections during the recent conference on climate change and the role of nuclear power in Vienna. The agency now sees a quarter more nuclear energy capacity installed by 2050 than it did as recently as three years ago. What is driving the agency's projections? Besides uh, climate change, amid today's geopolitical challenges, which are evident, countries increasingly recognize that nuclear energy is a key contributor to the security of energy supply. Leaders at the International Conference spoke of viewing the same trend. I see that many countries, many countries around the world, advanced economies and developing uh, countries are looking at uh, nuclear power with a new interest and with a great appetite. And I feel that nuclear can make a comeback in order to address our climate change and energy security challenges. Nuclear energy is a low carbon, abundant, low priced energy. And that's why it's so needed if we want to achieve net zero carbon by 2050. Participants at the conference spent the week discussing how nuclear and renewables can partner to achieve net zero, how to decarbonize beyond electricity and more. As at other climate change conferences, youth activists played a significant role. While renewables are the future, they won't be able to do this alone. They will need dispatchable base load power. At COP, we hope that parties will commit to a tripling of nuclear capacity by 2050 and ultimately going forward that nuclear will play a key role in many countries' energy systems. The IAEA will participate again in the annual UN Climate Conference next month to continue to share data and drive discussions on nuclear power's role in achieving climate goals.